So it's a new week, and now there's a new opportunity to do something cool with the A4B7 here. A few weeks back, I noticed a really small pool of very dark red liquid growing beneath the car on the passenger side, and it was sort of below the turbo, and I've tracked it down to the motor mount. So I'm pointing at the gray rubber sheathing that's right around the mount on this side. It's below this heat shield, below the, the cat and turbo here. Uh, it turns out they are hydraulic fluid filled uh, for a bit of a softer ride. This is the case on a lot of the B6 and 7s. Here's the driver's side one right out in the open. Uh, this one's fine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is the same thing I do with pretty much everything on the car, which is order something aftermarket that's better, that won't fail in at least the same way. And I've elected to go with the 034 Street Density Solid Mounts. And I know part of that uh, the discussion online is whether switching out to solid mounts throughout your drivetrain and motor add any vibrational noise or discomfort um, to your to your driving experience. So I want to try to add some value to the discussion and put some data to it. Now I'm not an engineer and I'm only going to use free apps and I don't have any other fancy tools. So. All I'm going to do is download uh, some apps online and try to get two things. I'm going to get a vibration reading. I'm going to put um, the testing device somewhere in the engine bay in a constant place for both tests. I'll do one before um, and one after. So keep in mind this before test is with uh, one blown OEM mount, one good OEM mount. And for the record, I do have a solid snub mount down there from 034 as well. Uh, and the second piece of data in the test will be an interior cabin uh, sound decibel level too. So we're under the car, and this is for those of you who might have this problem and need a point of reference on whether it's happening on your car. What we're gonna look at is underneath the car, right where the sway bar, which is uh, this black thing right here, uh, mounts up on the bottom side of the passenger side. You have this guy right here. This is the bottom of the mount. Uh, this is just a bracket. That's not actually the bottom of the mount itself. Um, you've got to pop the nut off the bottom and the top to, to get at it. But you can see the, the dark red liquid that I was talking about. And it was cascading off the sway bar. It tends to run down the bracket, uh, might hit something like that, and then onto the ground. So if you do notice anything red on the other components, know that it can trace back to something like this. And for comparison, here's the other one, perfectly fine. For the vibration test, what I'm going to do is use my iPhone 8 without a, a cover on it. Uh, and I downloaded this app called Vibe Sensor um, off of the, the Apple App Store. And uh, I'm going to put it right on the engine cover. I think as long as everything is a constant, it shouldn't really matter uh, what exactly I do um, to get a, a baseline. So all I'm going to do is put it right there and uh, get in the car, start it up, and see what reading I get on the log report. Here are the results of the vibration test on the engine cover. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to make sense of all the readings, but what I'm going to do is focus in on the Z-axis, because that is essentially the up and down movement of the phone. And when I isolate the Z, uh, which should really be the only thing that's uh, vibrating, assuming the phone is standing still on two other axes on top of the engine, uh, that should be more or less uh, the baseline. So even though I don't have a specific number, I can see and I'll be able to compare uh, the blue section uh, of startup and then smoothing out into idle. If I had to put a center line right through there, I'd probably put it at about 8. This next test is going to be for the interior decibel sound. So all I'm going to do is use this uh, DB meter app, again, same phone off the App Store. And uh, when I'm not talking, the average interior decibel noise level is around 30 to 31 decibels. And I've used a different app too to more or less norm that. Uh, the other one picks up about 32, 34, so I know I'm in that neighborhood. Uh, and I'm going to grab about a minute's worth of data here. This was the result. So this is starting up the car and then cooling down into idle. Uh, what it ended up leveling out at was... Uh, 
45, 46 decibels. Now we've got our two data points completed for vibration and sound, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the results are once I get the parts and tools in, which are coming this week, but it might take me some time to actually get that work done. So look for the second video soon enough. I'll link it back to this first video as well. Um, so if you're watching this for the first time, you can immediately just go and see the results. Thanks for watching.